became a very spiritual trip. It's like meditation. It's like zazen. Especially when I cross Atlantic Ocean at night, after seeing sunset and fly in the dark, and I totally put myself in the universe. And I'm no longer resist in my little body. It's just the vastness in the universe. So that experience, I didn't expect to have that, but I got that. And I feel like every day I'm living in this world, I have a lot of labels. People ask you, who, you know, introduce yourself. I will say, yeah, I'm Judy Wang. I'm working for Silver Airways, I'm an airline pilot. And more people may be interested in how much you get and what kind of house you have and how many kids do you have, this kind of thing. Everything is a label, but when you fly around the world solo in that universe, those gone, it's nothing else. Only you and universe. So that time, almost you can hear you, yourself. It's, you don't have any other relationship to the people, it's just relationship to the universe. So the life became expanded. Good evening, Standard Radio, Series November 517 Charlie Papa, flight level 100, check in. November 517 Charlie Papa, Standard Center, good day. Squad code is 0701. So I landed in Lisbon, um, Lisbon, Portugal. That's the country I really want to go back to visit again. And I thought I could stay there for one more day, enjoy Lisbon. But I checked the weather, two hurricanes are building and moving from south of Atlantic Ocean toward to north. If I wait for one more day, I will get the weather. So I can't wait, I have to fly, that's the, the window. That's a weather window, I have no choice. So that night I slept, I guess 11 o'clock nighttime, and I woke up two o'clock in the morning. I checked the weather again and prepared for the next flight. Yeah, people always ask me, oh, how many hours you like? Actually during flight round work trip, on the ground has more work to do, not only flight, not only flight hours, you have to prepare on the ground. So I woke up two o'clock in the morning, I check everything. Atlantic Ocean weather is nasty, always nasty. And even though the weather window wasn't so nice, but is able to fly through. I even have the screenshot for the weather that day. And I sent to my Chinese social media, WeChat, and somebody said, what, are you going to fly? I said, yes. I grew up in the Institute of Technology, uh, Harbin Institute of Technology University. My parents are professors there, and that's the school focused on the aerospace engineering. 
and a lot of their colleagues are aerospace engineering professors. So the whole environment gave me some idea and that made me, in the childhood, I always imagine the, the space and I wanted to be astronaut. That's one of my, my dream. I had many dreams. So astronaut is one of my dream. And my brother, when he was 18 years old, he, uh, he was being picked to be a military Air Force pilot. And my parents told him, you'd better go to a better university to get more knowledge and use the brain to support your whole life. So he really wanted to be a pilot, but he didn't. And now I'm a pilot and kind of making his dream real. And also living in the sky for me is close enough to be to, to the space. After I flew around the world, more and more media interviewed me, asked me this question, and made me realize a lot of women wasn't like me. I have no boundary, I have no border between men and women of the aviator. I just do, do the thing I want. But actually, a lot of different culture, different country, even in China. And uh, naturally, like when you were a kid, and your parents gave a doll to girl, and maybe gave a car to boy. And from there, it separated the direction, and the boys have better sense of mechanical, and the girls more emotional. So maybe some girls naturally don't have strong connection with technology, mechanical thing. So, I want to, if I can, I'd love to break that border, break that boundary to say, hey, nothing different. If you, you have the dream, just go forward, no matter man or woman. A lot of girls want to fly, go forward. I know it's still difficult in some country, but in the United States, it's amazing countries. Just, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. I love to encourage more girls, if they didn't have this thinking, encourage them, hey, you can do it.